Today I had a chance to take a video uh, because my friend Juliana asked me to give her a hand and so I had to sneak. This is covert video because I'm in a medical uh, clinic. So let's take a look at what we got. I know many, many, many of you are curious about the medical situation here. And I haven't been very forthcoming on information because everybody's situation is unique. But I had an opportunity here to do some video work and hopefully get something out of it. This is a clinic here in Armenia that's really just a few blocks from my house. Although we did take a taxi because I wasn't sure exactly where it was and she was running late. She had a 7.30 a.m. appointment. So by the time she got to me and we got out of there because she had to go fix her, you know, you know how they are. <laughs> um, she had to look just right and so uh, we left. So I come into this building and the clinic is not the clinic that you that comes to mind. It's just a medical facility. And it's, this one is five stories, and it had pretty much, pretty much everything there. And it looked like they had a lot of test equipment. There was a place where they did X-rays, so it was um, it was pretty well equipped. What I noticed was actually quite efficient the way they would process people through there. When she came for her 7.30 appointment, she checked in, uh, she paid the money that she needed to pay. They took her right over to do the paperwork. The paperwork didn't take long at all and took her right over again to where she was going to get the endoscopy. And f once we arrived there and she checked in, gave him a little slip of paper it was three or four minutes and they had her right in there it was like uh it was like an assembly line it was person after person after person they were calling uh, for about an hour i think in total that's how long we're there we're in and out relatively quickly So without going into a lot of detail, uh, for about six months she's been having uh, some kind of gastro trouble, a pain in her, in her lower stomach area, I guess. And she had an appointment, she doesn't have health insurance, and she had an appointment uh, for the free service that they have if you, if you financially can't afford to have health insurance. And she's in that situation, she lives with her family. The problem was something came up and she was not able to keep the appointment that she had. And they're pretty strict about that and everything else in Colombia uh, because she basically missed her appointment and didn't contact them ahead of time. She lost that opportunity to have that appointment. So she went for a number of months saving money until she could come up with the money to you know to get this done privately her first visit which set up her appointment was 80,000 pesos about $24 maybe a little less at the current rate 
and, um, and they then arranged for this appointment. And for this appointment, it was 180,000 pesos. And you'll see the exchange rate come up on the screen if it hasn't already. Everybody was very nice. Everybody was very competent. Uh, you could see that this, these processes are done over and over and over again. Uh, what I really liked, what I appreciated, uh, and it was in stark contrast to in Ecuador, is the there's just virtually no waiting. Now, the lines and waitings will come with the free services, and if you buy health insurance, some of the lower end, I understand, I'm told, that there can be a lot of lines. Uh, in this case, we're here, I think the longest it took was the paperwork, and and that took no time at all. I mean, he, he pulled her paperwork out. He filled it out for her. He just asked her the various questions. You know, I think if you ever had any allergies, or, you know, all the usual questions. Now, the reason I was there is she re was required to bring someone to get escort her uh, out of there. Well, this is a very routine thing. They take it pretty seriously. They hook up everybody on an IV. And this was an endoscopy, so this wasn't anything really that serious. But they hook everybody up on an IV, and they require that somebody accompanies you out of there, I guess in case you faint or something like that. And everybody that she knew was working or that just weren't available on, on this day, so she uh, sent me a message saying, please, 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 please. And I said, sure, I, you know, I'll try to do some video. Of course, she warned me what I already knew, that um, there's no videos allowed, no photos allowed. But I snuck in my little GoPro. And as you can see, sometimes it's blocked. Sometimes it's, you know, turned sideways. This isn't the best video in the world. But hopefully it'll give you a sense of what this facility is, what she went through, and how quick it was. She was in there for the endoscopy. I don't think it was even 20 minutes. I didn't time it out, but it went really fast. And of course, there's facilities right in the building on the first floor. You can get a nice cappuccino, some really good looking pastries. It's, uh, it was a very comfortable, friendly place. It, it didn't even have hospital like smells it's got a pharmacy built in it's kind of a one-stop shop